Okay, so uh, this is Raspbian running on uh, an SSD and overclocked to 2147. So as an operating system, super fast, uh, very snappy and just works really well. So if I go to, for instance, Chromium and click on a link, which, which I haven't clicked on on this before, you can see that it starts up really quite quick um, and it is snappy. There is a lighter desktop you can install uh, on top of Raspbian, uh, so you can use it instead of Raspbian, uh, which is another Debian desktop. And I have used it with uh, Ubuntu before, but I hadn't really thought about using it with Raspbian. So let's show you how to install it. So I'll do sudo apt update first, just to see if there's anything that needs updating. And sudo apt upgrade, yes. So I had this comment on uh, my Lacquer 2.3.2 video, uh, and uh, it's from Russ Smith, and he says he's running the Pi 4 at 2.3 gigahertz overclock on new 5.4 kernel. Uh, and I did have a look, uh, and there is a, a test kernel, and also some test firmware uh, for the Pi 4. So uh, obviously you do it at your own risk, but I'm gonna have a look at it on, I've got two Pi, so, uh, I'll, I'll test it on my newer one, my, uh, my revision 1.2. Uh, it does say 10.35 uh, over voltage, uh, which seemed a little high, um, but, uh, but I'll have a look. Um, I wouldn't have thought you would have needed to go as high as that. Uh, I did have a list um, somewhere in one of my videos that showed what sort of overclocking for what sort of clock speed. So I guess I could experiment with lower clock speeds. If you go over six it does invalidate your guarantee i i'm sure i read on i'll try and find the page and put it up um, but uh, you're not supposed to uh, to um, over voltage more than six and it's not six volts it's uh, i think the increments are in 0.5 or something but uh, i'll find it and I'll, I'll try and put it on the screen but anyway back but anyway back to the xfce okay so that's all finished so let's install XFCE and basically you just need to pop this in to terminal. sudo app-get install task-xfce-desktop. So 1.3 gig. And once this is done, you can switch between the two systems. You can switch between Raspbian and XFCE, so the different desktop environments. Uh, and the other bit, which comes up in my, I think it was in my Cinnamon video, uh, I had this tip, uh, sudo update dash alternatives dash dash config space x dash session dash manager. Uh, and that allows you to change between the different uh, desktop operating systems. So once it's installed, uh, it will reboot to whichever one you were last in, but if you want to change back and forth, then you can do. Okay, so that's done. So let's reboot. Okay, we're back in, so let's open that text document and open terminal and copy this in, just this one. So XFCE comes up as number five, so let's tap five, enter, and then sudo reboot. Okay, so this is how uh, XFCE looks when you start it up. Uh, so let's change the desktop background. Uh, so desktop settings, uh, folder, desktop. Here we go. I took this photo yesterday. I thought it looked a little bit like the uh, XP image. Not perfect, but uh, it looks a bit like it. So we can also change these icons because they it, it all it looks a bit drab. It it could definitely do with being modernised. So let's go into settings and appearance, and you can change these images here to give it various different feels. Actually, I quite liked. Look at that, high contrast, crux. So you can pick something you want there. I quite like that dark one actually. Let's go with that. Then we can change the icons. I thought this looked a bit, no, which one was it? Pix flat, I thought I quite liked the look of. So let's hit close on that. So if we want to add things to the dock at the bottom, if we right click on an empty part and go to panel and add new items, uh, click on launcher and then add. 
And then this comes up, which is just sort of a blank square, and right click, and then properties. So now we can add an app. So we can search through, or we can just start doing Chromium, tap on Chromium and hit add. And there you go, Chromium is on there now. So if we add another one, panel, add new items. And there's other things in here, other sort of settings and things on here as well. Don't know if there's a CPU frequency monitor. That might be interesting. Oh, there we are, that's interesting, yeah, I like that. And I'm not sure if I prefer, the, the way this panel works, if I open Chromium, you can see that it will come up and it comes up with a tab at the top. So a bit like sort of Windows 10, I guess. Uh, but the dock doesn't allude to what's open. And I kind of like it when the dock shows you what apps are open. But I like the fact that it's a quick launch dock and obviously we can switch back to it. Or that just, so if I click on that, it just opens another version of it rather than switching back to it. So if I open Firefox and then I open Chromium, uh, so we go back to Firefox and we go back to Chromium by doing the tabs here. But if I click on the bottom on Chromium, it doesn't go back to Chromium. It opens another version of it. People might like that. Uh, I suppose it gives you both options um, to, to quick launch things. So if you wanted a couple of terminals, you could open two terminals very quickly. Yeah, I quite like that. That's, maybe that's um, good for, um, for speed. So let's close that down. Close tabs. So let's just quickly go through these menus. Uh, you can see that some of them like settings, you just hold it on and it goes to, and it's nice and quick. If I do this with the buttons, it will do it quicker. You can see there's a few extra things. It looks like it's installed uh, by having a, a different desktop environment, which could come in handy. If you want to search for an app, uh, you can search for that or maybe some settings. So say for instance, display, uh, or Chromium or Firefox. See how many terminals we've got in here now. Yeah, we've got a few terminals left now because we've got XFCE terminal and uh, LX terminal. Uh, what does it do for software and apps? Yeah, so we've got Synaptic now and I really like Synaptic as a, as a package manager. So we go to file manager We've got more file managers on here, look. So I want to try and benchmark this operating system before I do the firmware and update the kernel. Uh, and it's an experimental one, so obviously do it at your own risk. Uh, but I want to see if I can get this 2.3 gigahertz working uh, and then maybe run PyBench on it and see how fast it runs. Okay, so that was how to install XFCE. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.